you have asked me to get up to the Port St. Lucie, Jensen Beach, Stewart area, what's known as the Treasure Coast, and rightly so. It's really lovely up there, and many of you are considering it for your move to Florida. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy as I head on I-95 North and make it up to the Port St. Lucie area. As you get north of Palm Beach, you start to see these roads open up and there's a lot less traffic. I'm on I-95 right now and you you know you might think you were on a toll expressway like the turnpike because the traffic's a lot less and there's just fewer cars on the road, which is one of the benefits of living up here. At least for now. I got a little surprise in store for you today. See if you can guess what it is. It's just a little hint. Arrived. So guys, I'm here at First Data Field, spring training home of the New York Mets. And it's a Friday late morning but um, let's see if I can get in there without getting thrown out. What's up, buddy? What's going on, bro? Hey, do they let anybody in here? Even Mets fans like me or what? Yeah, that guy up there. I have no idea. <laughs> Just got to try? Here, but... Okay, we'll try it. What's the worst that can happen? They throw me out. It's happened before. What's up, buddy? How are you doing? Huge, long-time Mets fan. I drove up here from Boca. Can I go in and just watch a little bit? No. I can't. No, nobody's Did, allowed in. I, I read online it said. No, nobody's allowed in the stadium. Is there, it, okay, not in the stadium. Is there a place where I could no. see from a distance? No. They're, they're, really? They're out of range this year. Dude, what, sir? They're out of range. No contact. Oh, come on, let the kids Not play. Just... No open workouts, no nothing. Sorry. Okay. No, no. That's... I know. We, Listen. we don't get to see it either. What about like when they... When they come out or something, you can't like hang out and wave to them. If you see them down there when they come out, then that's you, you got lucky because it's just not happening this year. Dude. Okay, my friend, Absolutely. you're the best. Appreciate okay. it. Stay well. Enjoy your day. You too, buddy. All right, guys. Anyway, you get to see the stadium. It would have been great if we could run into one of the players or something, but I guess not. No such luck today. But look how beautiful this is, guys. Man, compared to the old facilities that they used to have down in Pompano in Fort Lauderdale, where the Texas Rangers used to play, and the, um, the Yankees and the Baltimore Orioles, those places were like broken down old <laughs> schoolyards. This is a real stadium, I and mean, look at this. What's up, guys? Let's go, Mets. I, can you can you look over there and watch and see the field at all? Or there's no there's no vantage point. I know I can't go in. I was yeah, just curious. No vantage point over there. All right, I'll I'll walk where I can walk. I don't want to go any place I can't be. Ah, oh, look at this. Got to sit in the big big old Mets chair. All right, I'm official. This is bigger than the one at Meisner Park. Get me my scepter. All right, guys, looks like there's no place I can see or, or go to. You have to have tickets for the game, and they're only selling. Oh, there's no game today. Today's just a practice, but they're only selling 1,400 seats per game when they do play. So, 
But what can you do? How about you? You, you just. So well, the same thing. I, well, I, I live locally, but I got some house coming in from out of, from out of the area. All I sold out, huh? I tried going online first. Yeah. But the ticket, the price for the tickets were like crazy. It's like it's the World Series. <laughs> and then one of the guys that works here, I, I I play ball with him. Oh, nice. And he said, "Don't buy your tickets online because you got the scalpers. They charge you twice the price." And, and sure enough, I mean, two two tickets, for example, will cost me like three hundred forty bucks. What? Yeah, and you go over here and, and uh, three hundred forty dollars for a spring training game? Don't do it. That's a, those are scalpers, but they're gonna they're gonna rip you oh, off. Oh yeah. So you know what? You're better off waiting until the Marlins when they come and and play the Marlins down in Miami. Drive down to Miami. Training is you know nobody training. will be at those games. <laughs> <laughs> is that a store? Oh, it looks like they got a store. Is that open to the public? That's so. Let's let's try. Quick thing, my credit card machine at the moment is down at the moment, so I can't actually make any sales unless you guys actually pay cash. No problem. So at least at the moment, my machine is down. Can you get us to a place where we can see the field? Uh, <laughs> I'll pay for that. I'll pay cash for that. Unfortunately, I cannot get you. All right, it's worth a shot. Yeah. Nice story. Thank you. Man. Nothing better than what I used to do. Huh? Right. Thank you, buddy. Don't worry about it. We're good. That's pretty cool. Tebow shirts will be worth something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My favorite player, in case you guys didn't already know. Although I'm wearing a Syndergaard shirt. It's their neck. All right, guys. Strike one. Let's go check out Port St. Lucie. So this is a uh, PGA golf club and village here, residential, beautiful community, but I can't get in there, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to you it. You know, this is like the newer, well-kept, guard-gated um, golf country club community that, that big money can buy you. Okay guys, I hop back onto 95 heading south to go to uh, this Tradition Parkway. I just wanted to show you, this is a, basically like an all-inclusive community and you'll, uh, you'll understand that when you see it, but years and years ago, I thought about moving up here and almost bought a new construction in there. So let's go check it out. Turn left, then turn left onto Southwest Innovation Way. At the lights, use the second lane from the left to turn left onto Southwest Innovation Way. Guys, look at all the empty land that they still have here to build on. But these are uh, these are some communities. Up, oh, this one's gated. Can't get in.
isn't open. No, nah, this is gated too. Guys, a lot of this stuff is gated, which is good. It's nice to have that extra security touch, but you can see how clean and well kept and spread out and um, lush that this area is. I mean, it's just imagine when it's all built out, how, how complete it will look. Look at this lovely little street. It's it's sort of got like bungalow looks to it, almost like uh, Key West type houses. Cottagey, you know, really, really cozy looking here in the South. So again, this, whole entire community this complex if you will is called tradition and there's single family homes there's town homes and villas in here a wide variety of living choices but they have great facilities here really quiet community too so it looks like there's a community center here um i might just park and walk around so here you go they have uh they're putting up a school called the primrose school infants to private pre-k and after school primrose and you can see the school going up here guys brand new and and guys unlike south florida there's a lot of new construction going up here because there's more room in that urban sprawl of getting out of you know anywhere from dade broward palm beach counties and coming up here and that's why you've seen all this building going on these look like they're uh townhomes here The hell is that? Look at the size of those birds. What are you guys, ostriches? Sorry, I don't want to call you the wrong thing. Wow, even the birds are friendly here. Ah, that was pretty sweet. Now reserving. Available. It's pretty cool. Should we go and take a look at it? It's available. Okay, so it says the road is closed here, guys, and it's because this is a new neighborhood that's going in. It's all brand new construction. Coming soon. Single family homes. Esplanade. Oh, this is, guys, this is a 55 plus. Okay, guys, so I don't know if this is a model home. Let's go check it out. Guys, it's a gorgeous sunny day here in Florida. Couldn't ask for a better day. Let's see what we got here. I guess it looks like it's a model. Doesn't look like anyone slept in that bed. Yeah, no furniture, nothing. So, I guess this is a model. They got furniture outside. This is really nice. It's very 
modern for Florida. You know, it's got sort of that uh, contemporary look to it. Looks like it has uh, sort of like an outside courtyard too. I like the design, I like the construction. It's very different from a lot of what you see here in Florida. I like this uh, tile, it's that plank tile that looks like a hardwood floor outside. And you got the large paver stones to complete the look. Yeah, here's the courtyard that I was talking about. Oh wow, it's got an outside kitchen, barbecue grill. Look at that, this is great. Some cactus there to give it sort of a southwestern look. It's really nice. S sliding glass doors leading out to your patio. Great place to entertain. Awesome, well, we were in the neighborhood. I just wanted to give you guys a little, a little tour. These windows are certainly gonna be hurricane proof. You could tell they're, they're brand new. Hard to see with the glare, guys. Sorry about that, but you'll get the idea. Let me get information. Let's see what it says. I'll put it back because I don't want to take their last one. Oh, my goodness. Wow. The, I got a little sticker shock here, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't think it would be that much. It does have four bedrooms and three baths. It's a 4-3. And they want six twenty nine nine. I mean, by California standards, I guess that's a bargain. You can't get a shoebox there for that. Well, look, it's on this big, open, beautiful lake. Great views. It's really wide open here and very quiet. This is nice, guys. So guys, this is what I loved about it out here at Tradition. You come out here and you have so many choices for various housing styles and sizes and different neighborhoods to choose from schools things like that but then you also have this you have you know shopping there's a dentist here um what else uh, uh restaurants there's a an old-fashioned barber shop i mean um it, it kind of remember uh remember that twilight zone episode next stop willoughby he gets off the train and uh, he, uh, okay, thank you. Boom, log it. He gets off the train and he's like in an old turn of the century town with, you know, merry-go-rounds and popcorn and, you know, women wearing the, the long old-fashioned dresses and guys dressed up to the nines and tuxes with the top hats. Willoughby. 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 That's kind of what this place harkens to, you know? And it's not that easy to find here or anywhere. And you can see right behind me. Um, excuse me, sorry. I'm always in the way. Even in Port St. Lucie. Um, there's the Publix. They got their own Publix right here in tradition. So, um, I mean, a UPS store, it's, you can't get more convenient than that, guys. I mean, look at all this stuff. You got a T-Mobile, they got a travel agency. Uh, guys, I mean, you can't beat it. Score one for Port St. Lucie. It's a nice new looking Publix. Got a bakery here, got the deli. Wow, what's happening in here? Anyway, I won't bore you guys to pieces with Publix, but you know the quality's here. It's really good, and it's right in your own neighborhood. So if you live close enough, 
you can get your exercise in and walk home with your bags. They even still have such a thing as travel agencies? I didn't even know that. Well, look at this, you got the old fashioned uh, barber shop. If they didn't have a beard, I'd go for a shave. I already took care of the haircut. Chocolates, fudge, and ice cream. This Met shirt's already too tight. We got a pediatrician right here. Guys, I mean, I don't know. I think they got it pretty covered here. Look at this Portuguese grill, Lusa. It's another eatery, this is called Taco Dive. Mexican, I guess, taco joint. Look, you know, you can order takeout or you sit right out here. And look how lovely that is. On a beautiful day, they got tables right outside. You can do your shopping. You can come here for a drink. You can come sit down, have lunch or, or dinner. Um, you know what, guys? The more I think about this place, the more I like it. Hurricane Grill and Wings, just right in this one little spot. How many eateries you got and bars and places to hang out and chill. Pretty good, guys. You could do a lot worse than this. Well guys, what do you say? How about we head east and check out the beaches? Next time on The Barefoot Vlogger. Right on the water, it's, it's kind of like an old rustic seafood house. You got a place I could sit outside? That's nice. Yes, me. Oh, absolutely, good idea. What was my temperature, by the way? It disappeared? Oh, well, hopefully I don't. Oh, wow. Ooh. It's been years since I've been here, guys, and I forgot how awesome it is. Here's the raw bar. You got something on the water? Like, right on it? Yeah. That's a good sandwich, guys. When you see the fish is hanging off the bread, okay? And you can just see it drip the drippings from it. Drip it all over myself. Oh, dripped it on the fries. They'll taste better now. I'm telling you, this right here takes the fries. A little shell in there. At least you know it's fresh. Back to the dentist. You have so many choices of, you're just surrounded by water everywhere. I mean, you don't even have to be on the beach. You could be sitting in a beautiful place like this and it's just paradise. This feels like paradise, guys. It just, it puts you in a frame of mind. I can't think of anything that would beat it, to be honest with you. I hope you guys are Mets fans. Will you guys ever get tired of watching that?